Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Just put your hands behind your back. Relax. What do I do? Let go of him. Listen, relax. He's under arrest. Come to my car. Before this gets way out of here. It's real nice. But I'll be glad to send my end to the prosecutor and request a warrant for your arrest for harassment and intimidation. When you come up here, you always jackasses think you run this town. And you don't. In today's video, we'll be witnessing the moment these officers misuse their authority the most, simply to satisfy their own ego. So you try to say, we gonna find the dummy cop that really miss you the ability to be a cop, and and like you tell me that it gonna be a stupid cop that think they're doing something right, but in reality they not doing nothing right. This bizarre oh, display stupid. of staggering incompetence. <laughs> Just, put your hands. Just put your hands behind your back. On August 10th, 2022, uh -huh. in the city of Atlanta, a woman by the name of Angel Guise and her partner would illegally be in a park at late hours. What do you think would be the appropriate consequence for this? A ticket? A lecture? For Officer Brooks, however, it was something far worse. What? What was going on? How y'all doing? Hello. All right. Well, I see the Ohio tag. I'm not sure if y'all from here or not, but you can't be inside the park in the city of Atlanta between the hours 11 p.m. 6 a.m. Okay. You Thank got your you. IDs on you? Uh -huh. You have your IDs on you? Yes. I'm going to need them. <laughs> All right, sir, like I explained to you, uh, you can't be in the park at night. Everyone's just going to receive a uh, simple ticket. Hey, it's calm. Every calm. Alright, let me get a sign right here. No, you're not doing nothing wrong. Is it a charge or anything? It's just a ticket. You're not doing nothing wrong yet. Not yet. Alright, you can not sign and go to jail. It's this one here. This one here, sir. So far, so good, right? Just yeah. a routine encounter, nothing funny, routine, nothing no, insane. Nothing bad, the woman, nothing insane, Angel Weiss, got a little stupid. more curious about the ticket than Officer Brooks liked. All right, wait, just need to sign right here on the X. But because we're out of, didn't you say we were out of time so we wouldn't have known that? Yeah, but that's, that's not a valid reason why. You should be in the park because you're from out of time. And what's your back number? 7452. Okay. So they're not Ferrari uh, in the... Let me say, they live in the U.S., but they're not from around in that state. They don't live in that state. They're just visiting that state. So, they know the rule of Ohio. And you go and give them a ticket saying, hey, you can't be here uh, in the late night uh, in right around 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. in the whole Ohio, right? It... If someone visits a state and don't know the rule of the state, how are you going to get mad at them for not following the rule if they don't know the rule of that state? You know dumb you sound? You know dumb you sound? Okay. What's your name? Officer Brooks. What's your first name? I'm not, I'm not going to give you my first name. Okay, and I don't have to sign this, right? You do have to sign it. No, I don't. For what? Well, she don't live in the state. You're gonna be so how, second to gotcha. how did she know that she was What's the be here at a certain time? I gave it to you two times. She didn't okay, know I'm that. asking again. And I'm not giving it to you. Okay. Are you gonna sign it? No, because I want your badge okay. number. That's Both Officer Brooks and Angel made two serious mistakes here. An officer is a servant of the law, and thus Brooks had no right to refuse Angel public information. However, it was that, not smart true. for Angel to refuse the ticket, no matter what reasons she may have had. Unfortunately, among Boy. the two, though, Officer Brooks was the only one who escalated from there. This is an award. 
You want to put your hands behind your back for me? No, she got it. Hey, listen, my man. She says she's not signing. Well, she, put your hands she, behind your back. Sir, Ma'am. you're hurting me. Okay. I'm asking you to put your hands behind your back. Um, sir. Put your hands behind your back. Sir, put your hand behind your back. Can you, Come on. I need you to back up. I'm just saying like, I need you to back up. You don't need to touch her like that. She's, she's, she's not putting her hands behind her back. I'm asking, I'm asking you questions. Asking for, okay. I'm, I'm just, all I'm doing is asking Put your asking hands behind you your back. Put your hands behind Mr. your back. You're under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. I asked you to sign the ticket. You told me you're not signing. I, but, sir, put your hands I, I'm your asking back. you a question. Okay. I'm letting you know. I'm not going to ask you again. I'm going to forcibly put your hands behind your back. But, sir, Mr. Brooks, is this really necessary? But you say, Oh my on, God. Hold on. Put your hands behind your back. I'm not saying that I'm refusing to sign the ticket. I'm going to no. sign the ticket. You don't have all tonight. Because I'm, what? I'm, I'm going to sign the ticket, Mr. Brooks. Now she I'm, don't got I'm auction. I'm going to sign the ticket. No, I'm not here to play games with you. And that right there was the worst thing Brooks could have done. Because at this point, Angel was willing to comply. But Brooks behaved like a shark who smelled blood and only wanted to satisfy his urges now. I'm going to sign the ticket. That's how she just signed the ticket. You told me you're not signing. I'm, I'm going to sign the, the ticket now, ticket Mr. Now. Brooks. I'm going you to sign the ticket. You don't have the option now. Why don't I have the option, Mr. Brooks? I gave Brooks? you two options. She was just asking for your badge Brooks, number. I'm asking first. for your badge number, and I wasn't clear on why you were giving me my badge sir, number. You have, sir, you do not have to hold her like that. Oh my God. Sir, you do not sir. have to grab her like that. I'm asking. I'm telling you that I'm going. Sir. I'm going to sir. sign. Sir. You do not have to grab her like that. I'm going to sign the ticket, Mr. Brooks. I'm going to sign the ticket. Why am I being arrested? Can you please tell me why I'm being arrested? Oh my God! Hey, yo! So oh my yeah. God! Please, in the name of Jesus, please, God, in the name. Why am I being arrested, Mr. Brooks? I'm going to sign the ticket. Nobody going to help me. Fourth and twenty. Fourth and twenty. Fourth and twenty. Nothing. I have a right to know. Fourth and twenty. 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 Bro, bro, I agree with the boyfriend. Well, it, it, it don't got go this far. Why, world, you got the teaser out, then you got her um, in handcuffs. Like, wait, what wrong with you? Like, you're escalating through something that didn't need to be escalating. Like, she says that she got to um, sign a ticket, and you tell her, oh, no, 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 no. She don't got no uh, rights. She don't got no option to uh, sign the ticket. And you still got arrested. Just put your hands behind your back. No, you still got arrested. Oh, what? You got her on the ground, pinned down. And you would have been better for Angel if she simply just decided to comply. Angel, 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 Angel,
You can you can have him sit there and, and allow this to slide past. I allow him to go with his business and say, hey, hey, ain't, ain't nothing. Hey, to no, no, no. I ain't gonna let that slide. Uh-uh. Then when I took the hell on Kelsey, she uh, said that at first until, until, you, until you said you she went, uh, until you said you're going to jail. She didn't she didn't know what that was the, the consequence of not signing the ticket. Oh, so me saying she's not going to jail wasn't enough. No, Mr. Brooks, it was enough. That's the entire point. I can only hope Brooks lives alone because if this is how he treats strangers, I wonder what he would do to his own family. I mean, but that's just saying that's the consequence. That's, that's not the same. Though. All you had to say was like we were just about to leave. We were leaving. You were coming to tell us the park's closed. Y'all got to get out. That's it. And then now you had to just drag her on the floor and hurt her she over was a, over the park. She the same was you got like six, seven cops over a park. Somebody getting shot right now, y'all over here just over some bullshit. Bro, the boyfriend actually spinning really fucking fast right now. Like the boyfriend not lying. You, you like he not wrong. Like this cop got six other cop arresting oh arresting your girl over or a parking, and somebody get killed, shot up, or somebody by um, be on fire or burned alive. Y'all, y'all ain't gonna do nothing because y'all over here, over here arresting someone for just parking. Like, come on. I mean, we didn't get any calls about anybody getting shot right now. That I'm saying, nothing. Well, apparently, if they did, they wouldn't be there. That wouldn't be there. Y'all be here. When you don't give me your hands, when you don't turn up, when, when, when you don't put your ask, hands, she behind. said she was going to sign the papers when you were at, trying to grab her hand. Okay. That's all you wanted was her to sign the paper. You asked me the same. Yeah, thing. that's all you wanted her to do. You, right. The worst part now about you, this entire now you agree with him. is the sheer amount of smugness these cops had, and it just and, shows and, why and, Officer yeah. Brooks was so confident in doing what he did. And unfortunately for the city of Atlanta, uh -huh. these wouldn't just be a few bad apples. Brooks would end up facing no consequences, and the Department of Atlanta would even defend him. The news station spoke with retired Atlanta police detective Vincent Velasquez for insight on the situation. I would suggest anybody dealing with a situation like this, even if you think you are in the right, just sign the ticket, then fight that fight another day in court, he said. Next, we have another incident where the police idiotically decided to escalate a situation that could have very easily been uneventful, Boy. except this time they had even less cause to arrest. Relax. What do I do? Let go of him. Listen, Relax. Relax. You're You're under under arrest. Come to my car before Why this gets way out of here. On October 28, uh -huh. 2018, in the city of Canton, Ohio, Police were dispatched to a residence after a neighbor complained about their dog. What should have been an arbitrary domestic dispute devolved into something much more horrendous. He pulls up and he said, I'm gonna shoot your dog, I'm gonna take the dog. And me and her already had an understanding of it. And this is a neighbor, your next door neighbor? Or? No, no, she stays in the house right um, It gotta be right Karen. Right you Karen. The one she's talking to right here. Gotcha. I just went down, I talked to her. And what's the dog warden want with you? Right. He was like, man, I'm gonna shoot your dog. I don't care about what you're saying. And he told my kids, shut up and run in the house. And I seen the gun on him. I, I, I ain't seen no badge or nothing. He just was like, well. Okay. Yeah, he put, like he was gonna reach for his gun and shoot. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's fine. He let me this, take his gun. No, wait a minute. You can burn my name. I know. Yeah, no, you you were you were fine. You let me take it. I didn't come we're off cool. the porch. Nope. I you didn't were come fine. Off the... you Look were at fine. the 911 call and listen what I'm saying. I told her that's my gun. Yep. My name Got is. It. No felonies, nothing. Run it right now. You ain't got to run it right now. The man detailed what seemed to be especially erratic behavior from the cop dispatched onto the scene. However, we won't need his word for it, as the cop proved him right ten times over. This, this dude, I'm just here because he was having a problem. Guy, this guy right here, attitude was so... 
What is, what is he here Shoot for? Shoot my dog. What is he here for? Did we get past that? What are you here for? This dog was over at that lady's house. Was writing a statement. Went after her and her little dog. She had to scoop her dog up. From hey, ma'am. Hey, did me and you talk earlier? Okay. And then what was your plan? My plan was to write him a ticket, have him go out and get a dog license, and I would void the ticket. Everybody was here. Not, that sounds easy. That, 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 that's he the only thing he did? That. He did not, not say that. I don't know how the conversation went. He threatened to shoot the dog. But what happened was Dude, he, he brought the dog out and tied it no, up. I did. No, I didn't. Like didn't. an intimidation thing while I'm standing no, up on the did. front porch. Officer. The dog's running around my, my feet. Officer. I asked him to put the dog back he in said the house. He you heard the dog problem. He said he didn't have to put the dog in the house. The dog wouldn't bite you. And I said, well, I... Officer. Please, Please listen, if you put a dog in the house, okay. if not, a lie. if the dog comes after me when I go to my van, that I'm is a lie. Shoot it, if it comes after me. That is a I gotta believe the black person. Not not being racist, right? But it 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 like it, the cop story don't match up at his story. Okay, like with his story, it seemed like his neighbor called cough because of the dog or argument. Right? But when the cop say cough talking about nah nah he had the dog tied like now it's like the cop is a little bit missing up the story because the cop trying to be a little racism like bro we not not in a nineteen hundred or or in the fucking seventeen hundred where racism was a thing. That is a lie. You said you're if a the lie. dog comes out and bites you, I'm gonna shoot you. Not safe. The dog comes to your bed. You're exactly you're right. right. That's my dog. Don't you call me. Now you agree. I offer you. Right now. Don't you call my dog. Stop. Stop on me, buddy. Hey, stop. Hey, not. Don't you Relax. Hey, 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 don't push a hold on me, though. Stop. 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 Relax. 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 Or you can go to jail. Go to the car. Go to the car. Relax. What do I do? Let go of him. Listen. Relax. Under arrest. Come to my car before this gets way out of here. What is he under arrest for? What is he being detained for? What is he being detained for? Why is he being I'm a I'm Yeah. What? What am I What are you going to for? Officers out of nowhere decided to conduct an illegal and unlawful arrest on the man, and when his family tried to defend him, all hell would break loose. No! Oh! 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 No! Oh! an officer decided to unlawfully insert himself over one very corrupt and devious motivation. What? It's real nice, but I'll be glad to send my end to the prosecutor and request a warrant for your arrest for harassment and intimidation. On September 16th, 2024, a channel named BP Cast uploaded Wait. video footage of an interaction following a man who felt like incredibly surprised by their child's school bus arriving at an unusual oh, okay. time and picking their child up without the parents knowing. It was only after that altercation that a Greenwood, Indiana officer visited his home. Uh -huh. them and threatening them and cussing at them is illegal. Period. Do you understand that? Here's the deal. When you communicate with somebody, it's left up to them how they interpret that communication. She felt threatened. She was cussed at. She was screamed at. She was called a. Right? Mm -hmm.
Enlisted is the free brand new online World War II shooter. Command a squad of soldiers and participate in legendary battles of the Second World War. Real nice. She felt threatened by that. I felt threatened by my kids being drove off without one of my wife's waiting like, hey, here I am. I mean, if you're going to say she can feel how she wants, why can't I feel how I want, man? Feel how you want to, but I'll be glad to send my end to the prosecutor and request a warrant for your arrest for harassment and intimidation. So is every dispute between two private individuals, even if it's on one of the individual's property, liable for a police officer to pass by and start making threats? However, the officer's real reason for butting in would soon be revealed. Hey, here's, here's, well, that's not listen, what I want to do. Listen, here, here, here. I'm not, I'm not an idiot. Before you walked up here, you made your mind what you're gonna do. Because of our dealings last year. So, well, after after I talked talk, talk about- can, I'm not gonna beg you not to file charges over something when I'm trying to get my- Whatever, okay? I agree. I will get a hold of Mike today at the bus garage and let him know your concerns, okay? That the bus changed and you weren't aware of it. He's gonna probably tell me that everybody was aware of where the bus stops were. Bus, stop, bus stops change year to year based on who is at elementary school now and who went to middle school and everything else. Right. They don't change this basically on one person's request. No, really, I promise uh, you that. We, we okay, go okay. Either way, hey, either way hey, hey, hey. Certain set, I'll, I'll what, what, what they're trying to do yeah, is yeah, yeah. avoid any kind of conflict, okay? Right. Obviously, they avoided some there, but created mm -hmm. some here, right? So I'll talk to Mike and let him know your concerns. Okay. Let's take the kid. I still don't know. Where the bus stop is? Okay. Two here. Okay. You might wonder who this Mike might be. As it turns out, the bus lady who was involved in the incident would go back to her agency and complain to the man running it, who, wouldn't you know, was a retired police officer with connections in the department. You know, three blocks. Hi, hey, hi. You know, I have to walk in the kids. I, I get it's nice and convenient here, but trust the kids; they can walk down to the bus stop down there. I really do. We want to go out here. And, and, and it's just the way it is. Okay, things. so it, 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 I know it's nice and convenient here, but maybe it's not now. So I mean, so who cares? Okay. It's not about convenience. Now, 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 now you understand. There's two bus stops here, and they didn't just change it or whatever, okay? Densmore told me last night that they added one, and he didn't tell me that they took one away or moved it, whatever, okay? So it is what it is. That's just the way life is, and who okay, it, it's done, okay? Right. They're not going to change it back. I don't want you calling the school bus garage anymore. Okay. Okay, do you understand that? I understand. Uh, I'm going to forward this on to them. We're not in the business of, of having to arrest people. We're in the business with the schools here. Me working in the school city on my day off to protect the kids and making sure everybody's safe. We, talk, we appreciate okay. it, we do. And my, my issue's not with the police department. I know it's not. I know, but I want you to know you contacting schools like that I, can, no, I understand. can be. I do. We can I revert get it. back to last year. I, I get it. I do. I do. I'm telling you, dude, this lady is... She is the nicest lady, oh, and sure Mike, Mike said she was in tears yesterday. Well, she, I, I I apologize for that. No, but nobody should feel that way at work or be in tears at work. I I want to want my wife to feel like that. I wouldn't want anybody I know to feel right. like that. Anybody. I, the I, schools. I, I mean. I would expect this kind of behavior from Italian mafias shaking down other people for messing with their contacts. Who is this officer to threaten and order this man when no crime was committed? For our next case, we have an auditor who simply intended to exercise his First Amendment right when it went horribly wrong. You lawless jackasses think you run this town and you don't. In October of 2015, a free speech activist, Caleb White, would arrive to openly record the Bald Knob Police Department in Arkansas while legally and openly carrying his firearm. But unfortunately, like most officers, this cop would consider freedom the worst crime. Oh! All right. Is our first interaction with Officer Chester Wright. Now, right. Chester here Chester is a Wright. prime example of police academy <laughs> training, knowing mm -hmm. only one rule arrest yeah. anyone who thinks they are free citizens. 
Are we being detained? You are being detained. Under the suspicion of what crime? Huh? Under the suspicion of what crime? Yeah. No, no, there is no you listen. Understand. Unless you can tell me under the suspicion of what crime I'm being detained, I will be free to go. You're not and if, free to go. Okay, then You're I'm being illegally detained. Well, what Am crime I being illegally, you being illegally detained? I'm going to feel under crime did. Or are you in violation didn't. of Terry versus Ohio? I have no clue what crime did. says that you must have reasonable articulable talk, suspicion. You can talk and say all this. Yeah, so can you assholes. All that you want. When you come up here, you lawless jackasses think you run this town, and you don't. All right, you're back here looking suspicious with firearms. Looking just suspicious isn't a crime. Just to draw attention to you. Looking suspicious isn't a crime. It is when you got a no, firearm it's not a crime. on your side. Sir. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. Yes, what, it is. what law are you citing that says it's illegal what to look suspicious? Side? What law are you sir, citing that says it's illegal to look call, suspicious? If I get a call about two guys, uh -huh. I'm tempted. If I get a call about two guys that are around there taking pictures of cars, still not illegal. They have sidearms. Still haven't cited a law. So okay. I haven't said what That's we said. That's not a law. Of what crime? Here. Of what crime? To we'll figure that out here in a minute. No, we won't. We will figure that out now. If you okay. cannot reasonably articulate. This man came on personal with the what is the crime? Is it by the like every time you bring up is it Illegal is it by law? You brush your way and, and and go with different story, like you know and, and not by uh, by law to be looking suspicious, but you try to make it seem like it is by law, but really not and not by the law. Oh my, oh my god! You need help. Like I'm crying for the cop. Like this cop need help. Like. Where did you get your brain from? Because 50% of your brain is not even working right now. Clearly, Chester was already growing tired of arguing with White, barely even fathoming his arguments. But his next attempt to deal with him is downright hilarious. So you're legally detaining me? We'll see. Ever heard of DeVere versus the United States? A citizen who's doing everything lawfully in a lawfully allowed place is not a reason for detention. So, so not, that makes two Supreme Court cases being, you're violating. You're not here trying to make a spectacle of yourself, right? No. You're not? No. Okay. I'm actually doing a story on you assholes. Uh, uh, that's a good one, too. Yeah, it is. It's going to be real great when you're added to it. Okay. It's a lot of fun. My lawyers are going to have a lot of fun with y'all, too. Come up here and cite a couple of laws and carry your firearm, but you're going to be on the internet and be famous. I don't want to be fam famous. You know, I don't give a shit. Then what are you doing then? I'm writing a story. A story. I am doing a story on you. you I was getting B-roll. Who you work for? It's none of your business. No. What crime do you suspect me of committing? Right now, I'm not sure if you've done no crime or not. Okay, then I'm not I'm saying. I want to know what your thinking was with hiring this absolute goober as a police officer. He himself has admitted he doesn't know what he's doing. Police work at its finest, folks. However, we still have one last twist left in this miserable charade. Don't tell me. The it, Supreme Court has ruled me. that an unlawful detention is akin to assault and battery. Is it? Yes. Okay. That's the Supreme it Court. Is? The highest law of the land. Yeah, that is. is. If you had any integrity, you'd honor your oath to the Constitution, which you and I have both taken multiple times. Okay. I'm a cop, man. Yeah. Watch out. What are we being detained for? You're being detained for to figure out what you're doing here. No, you have to have reasonable suspicion of a crime. Do they send you to the academy or they just give any jackass they badge around any, here? Anybody a badge around here. Seems like That's it. That's exactly where it works. Seems like it. Running code through town for a non-emergency. Okay. I hope they pop in any bit one in. A commissioned officer is essentially a licensed security guard, which may not sound impressive, but it does allow him to carry a firearm onto any public property. Morning. What are y'all doing? Uh, exercising constitutional rights and being illegally detained. He wants to be on the internet. 
Yeah. He said I'm detained and he cannot articulate a crime. <laughs> listen to me. No, I'm not going to listen to you. Yes, you are because you're on city property. Uh, city property is public property. You're not allowed to be on city property with a firearm. Wrong. You're not allowed to be on city property. With what law is that? My chief. I just got the phone with my chief. You got Your chief don't make laws. See, that's what I've been putting up with the whole time. I do not have to present identification unless I'm being detained for the suspicion of a crime. You cannot re you cannot take my phone and stop what? my recording. I have the right to record. Oh, I'm recording too, so that's it's okay. Fine. You can record. I love But the thing about it is you guys cannot be on city property with a weapon. And what law states that? A second officer enters the scene because Chester could not do his job without a little babysitting. But this officer would end up falling in the same IQ range as Chester. Okay, just so you know, the cop ended my recording on purpose, which is also illegal. I mean, you guys don't know basic fundamental Supreme Court rulings. Oh, yeah. Sit over there and mock me all you want. Oh. Yes, you are. You two are. guy. Yeah. I'm not the one in the video. You two are. God damn. You two. You two. Oh, I swear, I swear. Oh, you don't need to read your handbook. Go back to the academy, learn from from baby step. Okay, okay. Right, right now, y'all don't know yeah shit about the law. I don't know nothing. My what hands are on the car. Am I being detained? If I'm not being detained, I will be free to leave. Yeah. So you're free. Detained. You're free to go, and you're not being detained to go to jail. And no, it's not. Hold on a minute. If you don't have go. reasonable suspicion of a crime, go. I'm free to go. So, what gives him any right to not leave if he's not being detained to go to jail? Neither dumb nor dumber would have an answer for White's legitimate question about this whole melodrama. And he yes. asked me all what the reason for the whole situation. Yes. And dumber and dumber can't speak no, with nothing. Because I do not have to legally provide you identification. Okay. You guys are not allowed on city property or on the police department property, so you guys need to leave. Ah, ah. And instead would escort him and his friends straight to the county jail. However, there is nothing in the Arkansas state law that says you can't be on city property while open carrying. The pair is detained several more minutes before being released without any charges or citations. <laughs>